Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is 7.30 uh, Saturday the 17th of September 2022. Uh, 79 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's almost chilly. <laughs> almost. 82% humidity, 26 degrees Celsius. So, we are off to Walmart, I think. Dollar Tree and Walmart, most likely. Because there's a couple things I want at Dollar Tree. And I could get the stuff I'm getting at Walmart at Dollar Tree, but they're a quarter more, if not, if not more so. Paper towels. Uh, you get a smaller roll for a dollar and a quarter at Dollar Tree than you can get at Walmart for 88 cents. So that's what, 40 40 cent difference something like that um, 30 cents difference anyway uh, rolls hamburger hot dog rolls a dollar and a quarter at Dollar Tree they're a dollar at Walmart as long as Walmart has them and that's really about it the only downside is Having to deal going into Walmart, dealing with the humanity and just, you know, standing in line at Walmart and whatever. Uh, it usually moves a lot faster at Dollar Tree. Usually, not always. So, uh, anyway. That's where we're headed. That's what we're going to check out. Dude, you got a load and a half in the back of that little van, don't you? One thing I want to get at Dollar Tree, maybe the only thing, uh, other than chips. Um, they sell those little rings that you stick on the back of your phone. And I had seen, I don't know, a Facebook or something hack where they took them and they stuck their glasses, like they stuck them around and they put their glasses through that ring. You know, everybody, everybody uses cheaters once you get to a certain age and they're constantly being misplaced. So... I had picked up one the other day just to see how they worked, how well they worked. Uh, excuse me. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> I stuck them, I stuck the one that I had up on the inside. Now I've got a, a loft bed. Um, there's a, you know, a, a platform above my bed that in most place in most instances would be a upper bunk but in my case it's upper storage but I've got a two by two by six I think I think it's a two by six uh, that I can stick those things to like right over my head so that's basically what I did. And it was, it was cool. So, it worked, I mean, it worked really nice. I thought about just, like, I've got a bunch of key rings. Um, I, can, I can dig out staples and use those. Uh, eh. 
I don't know, now that I'm thinking about it, I've got, somewhere I've got those little uh, cable holder things that, you know, you nail into the, into the baseboard. You're going to slip a key ring into that. I don't know, then I'd have to. <laughs> somewhere is the optimum, or is, is the, the, uh, is the word right there. I would need to figure out where I put the key rings and where I put those those cable pieces. Sorry, I'm kind of watching traffic and whatnot. So, uh, might be easier to just grab two of what I'm thinking about and actually get it done. And then if I find the other stuff later, I can add I can add it for more glasses. Lord knows, I've got enough glasses, so uh, I could use I could use one in the kitchen and at least one more in the bedroom. So, uh, for that matter, I wonder. Uh, I grab some thumbtacks. I think I know where the thumbtacks are. And a couple of hair bands. Yeah, that's a that's an idea. Cut up a soda can or a, 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 a plastic bottle. <laughs> oh, mercy. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I'm going to do both, I think. Or maybe all three. We'll try them out. The stick on one I know will work better in the kitchen. Just like stuck right on the right on the cabinet door that'll be good to go the one in the bedroom yeah the, the wood isn't finished over the bed so anything i want to do is fine I, mean, I could put you know little uh, cup hooks into it or whatever and hang them on that but anyhow neither here nor there we'll get her done the last night it was about the same as it is right now uh, about 78 degrees 79 degrees just a little humid but I was outside for, I don't know, maybe an hour. Um, puttering around in here, I had moved, I moved uh, a, a bag I had attached to the seat, to the passenger, the front of the passenger seat. I moved it to the back seat and hung it. And then I also hung a uh, another bag, a different bag, excuse me, up here in the front seat, uh, just because at that point in time I thought it was a good idea, but as I've been thinking about it, I don't think so, I'm, I'm, it's not, it's a bag, it's one of my, like, bags that I have stuff in it that I find useful when I'm out and about. It's not an everyday carry bag, really. It's too big. It's not a bug out bag, because it's not set up for survival. It's just a daily whatnot. And I don't really need it up here in the front seat. It's actually not as easy to get to everything 
as it would be if I just grabbed it out of the back seat, put it on the hood and went through it. So it's a little more complicated to get it out of the truck. So I'm thinking this evening, after I get done doing what I'm doing, um, I'm going to tackle that, find a nice parking lot to work in. I'm going to tackle that and then tackle taking some of the stuff out of the back of the truck and reorganizing. Uh, maybe go down to the, maybe go down to the, the uh, boat ramp. Uh, work down there by the water. So. Uh, we'll see. The other day I had made up a little more than half of a package of dried hash browns and then didn't use them all up when I made my I made my dinner. So I made them up for brunch today, the, the ones that were left over. Just threw them down on the griddler with some uh, some fake bacon, bacon bits. I don't think really fake. Well, yeah, I guess they are they're fake. Uh, you can get non-fake ones, but the ones I have are actually just soy pellets <laughs> with bacon flavor on them. But they add that little bit of flavor to the potatoes, along with you know a little bit of a little bit of bacon grease. I need to cook more bacon because I am almost out of bacon grease. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I, I just made up I made up the potatoes with a little bit of the bacon's bacon bacon whatever I get it whatever it's called and. Uh, some cheese. Toasted it all up nicely. And that's unusual for me. I don't usually eat earlier in the day like that. Like, it's going on 8 o'clock. I usually don't eat until around now. But... My stomach was talking to me. So, I was like, do I, what do I want to do? Do I want to eat a bunch of cookies or go cook up some potatoes? That's what with the potatoes. I don't know that either is better for me. Cookies probably aren't, well, definitely aren't good for me. Um, not the windows I want to put down. I got a fly flying around in here. Put that back window down. Maybe I'll get sucked out. Uh, so. Uh, dang. He's in a rush to get nowhere. <laughs> ah, the local cop saw him. All right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've got. I don't know. What do I run into? Fourteen minutes jail now. now. This is a little longer to get to this Walmart than. than the one right on Atlantic Boulevard. Um, I'm not 100% sure where everything is in this Walmart. Because I don't frequent this one as often. Somebody had said uh, in one of my on one of my posts it would be happy you to get to a Walmart. That flies. There we go. <laughs> um And I know I'm spoiled. Like I said, you know, I can be in, well, this Walmart's less than 20 minutes away, depending on traffic. Uh, and there's two that are less than 10 minutes away. 
we're within 10 minutes of drive. So, and there's probably three that are within 15 minutes, between 15 and 20 minutes. And I don't think this one, no, Dollar Tree for this one is across the street. That's right. I was at this Walmart. I say I don't go here very often, but then I was at this Walmart earlier this week just looking for, looking for my relish. So... Anyway, there are some dark clouds over that way. Most of the rain has been staying south of us today, which is a good thing. Pick up, pick up. Man, I hate they have all these pickup spots. Between pickup spots and dis disabled spots. Half the parking lot's taken up. I can get over if I get over to that one. Anyway, we are at my destination. So let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever did y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculus. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fan-doctorless day. Watch it, y'all. Uh.